Hello friends, welcome to yet another fascinating session of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and in today's video you are gonna get some extremely helpful phrasal verbs for everyday English. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video carefully to learn all the essential phrasal verbs for everyday English. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends, welcome back once again to this fascinating video on phrasal verbs for everyday English. And as I have promised in today's video, I am going to discuss some extremely useful phrasal verbs for everyday English. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with today's helpful phrasal verbs for everyday English. So the first essential phrasal verb for everyday English is on your screen that is take away. Let me repeat once again, take away, take away. Here means to buy food in a restaurant and eat it somewhere else. That means you buy from a restaurant or eatery and you don't eat there and you take it somewhere else or you take it to your home. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So as you see the example is that to eat in or take away. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next we will see the second helpful phrasal verb for everyday English that is turn to let me repeat once again is turn to turn to means try to get help from someone so that's called to turn to when someone tries to get help maybe during some kind of crisis so that's called to turn to as you see the example sam had no one to turn to when he lost his job that means he didn't have anyone to approach for help when he lost his job i'm quite sure it's clear up next we will see the Next helpful phrasal verb that is eat in. Let me repeat it's eat in. Very useful one for everyday English conversation. Eat in means to have food at home. So instead of saying I am having food at home, you can say I eat in. So like this way you can use this and sound quite proficient and smart. As you see the example, we always eat in on weekdays. So I'm quite sure it's clear that means we always have food at home. And you do not go out, in fact, and eat on weekdays. So like this way, you can use this wonderful phrasal verb, eat in. Up next, we will see the next one that is just the opposite. It is eat out. Opposite of eat in, it means to have food at a restaurant. So I hope you understood. Remember this pair, eat in and eat out. So as you see the example with eat out, Sam likes to eat out often. That means he often likes to have food at a restaurant perhaps i'm quite sure it's clear up next we will see another interesting and very helpful phrasal verb that is usher in let me repeat once again it's usher in so usher in means to make important changes happen so that's called to usher in so let me repeat usher in means to make important changes happen so let me show you how to use it his appointment as md ushered in a whole new phase in company's growth so i'm quite sure it's clear so his appointment as md ushered in means obviously made important changes happen so i'm quite sure it's clear up next we will dive into the last one for today that is on your screen that is wait in so let me repeat once again wait in wait in is very useful it means to stay at home because someone is going to visit or you're expecting someone to visit your place that's called to wait in so it's a very handy one. So let me show you how to use it. I waited in for Tony the whole evening, but he didn't show up. I'm quite sure it's clear. So I waited in for Tony the whole evening. That means I waited for him. I was at home and I waited for him the whole evening, but he did not come or did not visit. This is also another phrasal verb. Show up means to visit someone. I'm quite sure it's clear. So friends, today you got some helpful phrasal verbs to try to use them and go through all the examples and make sentences and comment below. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So stay tuned for further informative videos, friends. And please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Wisdom Zone.